Hello, my Feather fam, and happy March. What is our theme for this month? And of course, I'm going to just remind you in case this is your first time tuning in, I did a bunch of themes for the 2024 year. And the overarching theme for the year was our universal heart. And so if you want a little bit more about that, please feel free to watch the video on my YouTube, the entire video to get the reading. This is gonna give you a little more in-depth information around it. And so our theme for March is embracing change. And what I'm feeling really strongly here with the embracing change message is that we as a collective are really going to be in situations where we're kind of gonna have no choice but to change. So. I talk a lot about this when, when we do talk about um, change and transformation, that there are some changes that they come up and we can delay them or defer them. There are some changes that come up that we can say, nope, not doing that. And then there are some changes that are like, sorry, you don't have a choice in this. The only choice that you have is how you choose to respond or react to this change. But the change is here. It's happening, whether you want it to happen or not. And that's what I'm feeling very much in March. Um, is that we are, as a collective, going to be facing some experiences that we aren't going to have a whole lot of, I want to say, external control over. So the change comes in how we choose to engage with the information. And on an individual level, I feel like each of us is going to have an opportunity to sort of step up and say, here's how I want to embrace this change. Here's how I see what is transpiring as, mm, I want to say, as the outcome. Uh, here's the outcome that I see as a result of this shift. And here's how I want to um, participate in it. Here's how I want to contribute in really positive ways. Uh, what I'm really drawn to here when I'm looking at this card is the moon cycle. And so I feel very much that this is a month where the moon energy is going to be really important. What does the moon represent? Well, the moon represents our intuition. It represents our, I, I like to say, our ocean of emotion. The moon regulates the earth's tides, the water, the bodies of water. So therefore, because we are all bodies of water, it regulates us, it regulates our moods, it regulates our uh, choices and decisions in terms of, I wanna say where our desires are at and how we're stepping into fulfilling those desires. So embracing change, I feel, is going to be a positive thing, but you wanna do a lot of work at night. You want to focus on that inner work what is this change that's coming to me? How do I want to embrace it? Do that at night. Do that not in the heat and the intensity of the sun. You want to do it in the softness, the divine feminine energy of the moon. And I feel like it really is about that divine feminine concept that we're all bringing into the planet at this time. It's about equality. It's about harmony and balance. And haven't we been talking about that for a long time with all of the sixes, you know, coming up in um, in this overarching reading that even though we're in an eight year, it is the six energy that is supporting that mastery path of the eight year. So really step into a space and a place this month where you're feeling more <clears throat> connected to your emotions, not from the place of I'm losing myself in my emotions, more so from the place of I'm very aware of my emotions and my emo emotions are a roadmap to how I choose to navigate this change. The change is here, it's inevitable. So my choice is how I wish to engage with it or not. Also this month, I feel that there's a lot coming up around career path and choices around careers. Um, this isn't so much that people are going to be leaving their jobs or losing their jobs as much as I feel each of us individually is going to look at our careers and say, am I doing enough? Am I doing enough? Am I getting enough out of what I'm doing that it feels fulfilling for me to continue with this? I feel like embracing change also invites that, um, that energy of 
this is my life. I want to participate in my own life. I want to get a lot of out of this life. And I don't want to be doing the things and the stuff that don't bring me any kind of satisfaction at all. So I feel that embracing change is also going to be reflected in how we are viewing our careers at this time. So that's our theme for the month. As always, sending you guys lots and lots of love. Transform well, and we'll see you on the flip side.